Hi. <laughs> I thought I'd better show my face on here, just in case there's anybody still subscribed to me who is wondering where I might have gone to. I'm sorry. Um, it's not like I've been busy. I just, I do find, I still find recording these videos painfully difficult. I, I, it's not a process I enjoy at all. Um, but I like I like the interaction, so sometimes I just have, have to suck it up and get on with it. And I thought, I really need to, to get back on here, just so, yeah, just in case anybody missed me. Um, I missed you guys all terribly. I haven't even been watching YouTube. Uh, I just, I just don't really have that kind of time. I mean, I love you all, and uh, I just, I want to see every one of your videos, and I want to hang on every word you say, but... Dang, some of you guys can talk. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to try and keep this video quite short, despite the fact that, you know, I've got months worth of blab to, to share with you. Well, not that much happens, so probably wouldn't take too long anyway. But, you know, I mean, I can sit down and watch two, maybe three videos, and there's an hour gone. You know, <laughs> it's just... You know, it's it's wonderful stuff, but it's so frustrating as well because there's that hour gone, and then I've still got like 50 videos I haven't watched, and I want to watch, and I don't want to miss anything, and I just get ah, and I just don't bother in the end. I'll go and do something else. I have been spending a lot more time on Instagram lately, um, sort of bite-sized chunks that don't involve me on film, which is a bonus. Um, so I've just been putting stuff on there. I won't even call it daily draws. Um, I want to practice with my cards. I want to work with my cards. Um, and if I turn around and say, I'm going to do a daily draw, well, that puts pressure on me that I don't want. Uh, it puts an expectation on the people watching that it's either going to be a daily draw for me, which I loathe. I've just never had any joy with those. They don't, they never tie into anything that's going on in my life. I, so you know, I don't see the point of that. Or they're going to be expecting to see something that speaks to them. And really, what are the chances of that when little old me pulls two cards, makes an interpretation, and puts them on Instagram? Is that going to speak to you? It might. You know, and I'm all for the random possibility that, you know, somebody's going to stumble across one of my postings from any old day and suddenly go, oh, I really needed to see that right now. And yay, that's what we want. Um, but really, it's just to get me working with my cards and get me practicing. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I'm doing um, a challenge called, what's it called? Intuitive Interview Project, which is quite good. The questions are interesting and suitably vague, and you just pull some cards and see what spirit, however that works for you, has to say about that subject for everybody. What what's the universal wisdom behind, you know, your drawing, in relationship to this question? So that that's quite fun. That's uh, that's a bit more structured, and I'm wondering how long I'm going to be able to keep it up before I go. Oh, I can't do this anymore. It's too much pressure. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's been okay so far. Um, what else have I been doing? Uh, well, oh, it's been kind of a a hard year. We have elderly cats. We, <laughs> we had elderly cats, um, and I'm afraid I lost two of them earlier this year. Um, and, and the run-up to both of those was, was really difficult because they, they needed a lot of care and attention. And, and I, well, I suppose I did realize how stressed I was about it, but yeah, I was exceedingly stressed about it. And that didn't help when it came to, you know, wanting to sit down and putting on a face and doing a video. I know I don't need to do that, but you know what it's like. You know, just don't feel like doing anything. Um, so I'm going to be able, had to say goodbye to two more cats this year. I'm down to a single cat now, and oddly enough, it's Beastie. It's the one that has appeared on camera with me, uh, mainly because she's the only one, although she's the same age as the other ones, she's still quite fit and active, and she's the only one who would, you know, video bomb when I was doing something. Uh, the others were always sort of, you know, curled up somewhere, feeling pretty ill, basically. So you didn't really see them. Um... So yeah, so I still got my beastie, and she's loving it. She is loving being the solo cat in the house. I think she kind of thinks it's about bloody time. <laughs> so she's getting all the attention and all the fussing, and because I'm not having to nursemaid other cats anymore, I have more time for her, so she gets lap time and, and cuddles, and so she's a very happy kitty. But right now she's 
in a duvet, and we have an old spare duvet rolled up um, next to the radiator, which isn't on yet, but probably won't be long the way the weather's going, um, underneath a kitty electric blanket. So she's in a duvet under an electric blanket. Okay, she's 17 years old. You know, she feels, she feels the cold. So, uh, so that's what's going on right now. If we listen closely, we could probably hear her snoring. Right, enough of cats. Um, I'm still doing the same old stuff. I'm still doing uh, tarot, um, oracles, cards, you name it. That's still my bag. Um, nothing's changed. Well, actually, some things have changed there. My tastes have gone off in a different direction. It's not even tastes. It's If you'd asked me two, three, four months ago, you know, are, what, what's on your tarot wish list, I would have said, frankly, nothing. Um, none of the new decks um, appeal to me in the slightest. I have all the decks I've been wanting, um, and I'm happy. You know, carry on, guys. Enjoy yourselves. And then all of a sudden, things started to shift. I can't, in in lots of ways. I've spoken about it elsewhere. It's just, it's been a funny time for me. Um, and suddenly, I was looking at decks with new eyes and thinking, hang on a minute, I need to have that deck. Do I need to have that deck? I guess I need to have that deck. Um, so I've acquired a few new decks and I never thought I would. Uh, very, very strange. I, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll go into that. Um, the first one is not a surprise, to be perfectly honest. The first one is one that's been on my wish list for a while. It's not a tarot. Um, I could, would consider it loosely an oracle deck. Um, and I'd seen it a while back and I thought, oh, that's cool. I want one of those. And then I kind of forgot about it. And somebody else started posting about it and I went, yeah, that's right. I wanted that deck. And I'm glad I got it. And it's the Magician's deck. Um, here we go. Here, this is always fun. Let me try and get this. There we go. Can you see the, that's the backs. Very, very well. Try not to get a glare on it from the window. But uh, that's the backs. There's there's a splendid example. That's the Unraveler. So it all starts to come apart. Um, this is, I think it's 81 cards. Yes, of course it is, because it refers to that on the cover. It's 81 cards. Um, and it's, there's Mother Earth. There's a nice, pleasant example. There are some far less pleasant examples in this deck. This is, this is serious shit, this deck. Um, I wouldn't want to read for anybody else with this deck. Um, it, it goes some very interesting and deep places when you read for yourself. <laughs> and of course, I had my uh, uh, goddaughter come around a little while ago, and uh, she was in need of advice from her Auntie Judy. <laughs> and she wanted a reading, and her eyes fell on this deck, and she went, ooh, can we use that one? And I'm like, no, no, you really, really don't want to grab. And fortunately, she just started pulling cards for herself. And I'm glad she didn't just go pull, 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 pull. She pulled a few and she looked at them. And then she pulled another one and she and she placed them very carefully. Um, she didn't just sling them on the table. Um, she deliberately put, you know, this card above, that card below, this card here, that card there. And it actually made a very sensible and very helpful reading for her. So thank you, Deck, for not just going, Mwahahaha! <laughs> just, you could have really had some fun with her. Um, but yeah, no, that, that one is a definitely for me. Um, what else have I got here? This little lovely, this is, here we go, La Corte de Tarocchi. And I bet there's a gazillion Italians out there just cringing at the moment. This is by um, Il Meneghello. And I just, I just love their packaging with the little proper little um, stamps and stuff on it. The back is just back, but lovely little hard box. But the cards are so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Lots of reviews have been done about this one um, recently. Um, this paper is out of this world. It's so textured. And it is really, it is like serious cardboard, but it's like, ooh, like the best cardboard. It's just, and it makes such a lovely sound when you shuffle, you know. That lovely shushing noise. 
and the, just the size and shape of them, they're just so elegant and the colors are so soft and, and romantic and, and look at your puppy, isn't that beautiful? Just love these cards, absolutely love them. So, uh, so yes, this was a, this card keeps showing up in a lot of my readings. It's funny, I just managed to cut to it just now. So, yeah, this is, this is shown up on Instagram. This is the sort of thing I'm, I'm using on Instagram. So that was a little treat. I hope I'm not shaking the table by putting that there. there we go. Um, and the other one, this was a real surprise. This was, um, how did this one come about? Oh yeah, I, I just happened to see, I've started searching. This is where it's all going horribly wrong. I started searching for cheap tarot decks, literally just searching tarot cards, because if somebody's listing something a lot of the time as tarot cards, they haven't got a clue what they've got. And you can get some real bargains. Tarot cards, less than eight pounds. Um, what was my other thing? Oh, I can't remember. There's another option on there worldwide, I think. And I spotted this one. And I didn't even know it existed because I'm so disinterested in the deck itself. Other people absolutely love it. And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> not for me, thanks. Carry on, have fun. And and then I saw that, oh, there's a borderless edition. Oh, I wonder what that looks like. And I saw it and it was like, I have to have that deck. And it's this one. It's the Deviant Moon borderless edition. I never liked it. I have never liked this deck. It just left me completely cold. It's like, blah, blah, creepy, weird. Nah, I don't, I don't need weird. You know, I, I'm trying to read. I don't, I don't want to be distracted by weirdness. <laughs> I've got my own weirdness. So, but rubbish. When I saw these without the, hang on, things are falling. When I saw these without the borders, there's just something about it. It was like, oh, hello. And really, as soon as I got it, I, I've even blogged about it. It was like, hello, friend. Where have you been? I've missed you. It's like, now that should, that should really be putting me off, you know? But in, in a really, 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 really weird way, that is somehow familiar and comforting. And I can't. You know, I said, yeah, okay, you see these images absolutely everywhere. You can't get away from them. So, you know, I'm not surprised. I fucking love this one. <laughs> I'll get that for temperance. This is another one that keeps showing up on a lot of my readings. That's quite strange. And I just, I absolutely love it. And it's like, yeah, yeah, hi, how you been? <laughs> I missed you. Look at that. Look at the colors of that. She's pretty. I like her. Ooh, flash there. You know, I don't know why I'm showing you these. Everybody else out there knows exactly what they look like. It's only me that was kind of like gobsmacked that this could even interest me. Um, which takes me to my next deck, which is equally um, a surprise. Um, and again, it was one of these cheapy decks, and I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at it. I, I've never liked this deck, but... Nah. And, and something in my brain went, buy it. I don't, but buy it. Um, and this is again, um, I'll do this this way around because uh, a few weeks ago I found a little bag and I could not resist the little bag. It was just cuteness itself. Is that not the darlingest thing? It's so precious. Reminds me of my beastie cat actually a little bit. Um, and it's furry on the back, so it's lovely and soft. It's really nice. Anyway, and I bought it just because I had to have it and it's been sitting on the side and just this morning I looked at it and I thought, I know what'll fit in you nicely. It's my little mini, mini, mind you. How many people know that back? <laughs> it's a mother piece. I've never wanted a mother piece. I just, I had a total aversion to round decks. That Round decks are just wrong. You know, my traditionalist sensibilities, you don't, cards are, you know, rectangular. So there, they shouldn't be round, that's wrong. So I just never really cared for it, never really wanted it. Um, I think a little bit of that was broken down, my resistance to round decks was broken down when I saw Sacred Seeds um, video a while back where she talked about, I think it was her first deck um, and her relationship with this deck, and that was the Daughters of the Moon. Um, and it was such a moving story, and, and the cards sounded so interesting in themselves that I immediately Googled away and 
pretty much immediately after that purchased a deck for myself because I thought, yeah, yeah, that's a special deck. I need to have one of those in my life. And and I love it. And I think that's kind of, as I said, broken down my resistance to round cards. So when this one popped up, just a little mini for eight pounds and 29 pence, which I found it was roughly equivalent to 11 US dollars. Um, yeah, yeah I, I've, I've found other ones you can get for about 13, 14 pounds. But really, if you if you want to get a full size one, they can be pretty pricey. Anybody want to pay 840 pounds for one? You can on Amazon if you want to. I found some on there that were about 35 pounds for used ones or what have you. So, and that's that's not bad. That's not too bad. But you know, I'm I'm really happy with my little mini, and and I love it. <laughs> hey, who knew? Who knew that I would fall for these cards? I certainly didn't. I the the artwork did absolutely nothing for me. The concept did absolutely nothing for me. Um, and suddenly, as soon as these arrived, I was like, <laughs> it was just, it was silly. And I couldn't wait to use them. And I'm ever so happy with them. And they fit perfectly in my little pussycat bag. So I'm chuffed about that. Uh, so yeah, that's all my new babies. Oh uh, crap, how long have I been yapping already? Uh, oh crap, I'm 16 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Um, the only other thing I'm doing at the moment is I'm taking a kipper. Course, Kipper 101 course with Tony Pula. Um, she's uh, got a website, it's the World Normand Association. Um, she's on Facebook, she's got a website, she's, she's brilliant. Um, yeah, I've been working with Kippers for a while. You know, if you, if you read a variety of cards, you can pretty much work out how to, you know, get on with a particular deck. But I wanted somebody with experience of how German readers actually read with the deck and the little tips and tricks and card combinations that you know that they they know about and that sort of thing and it is read differently and it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so Tony's like don't mention Lenormand and Kippers in the same sentence <laughs> so she gets really adamant about that and it is you don't read them the same way so this course is is being really helpful uh, I've got about four or five more days to go and then hopefully I'll get, I'll get my certificate at the end of it if I haven't completely pissed her off. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping busy. I'm well. I'm down to one cat, uh, but decks are coming out my ears. So all's right with the world. <laughs> and I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I do try and watch all your videos, but I just, I just can't. There's just too many lovely people out there showing too many lovely things and talking about too many wonderful topics and uh you know i try and get to what i can but uh yeah yeah it's all good winter's coming yay autumn's here which is fabulous i love it my favorite time of the year so yeah yeah we're doing good hope you're doing good and i'll see you all soon take care bye